We begin with breaking news as some confirmed and some possible tornadoes touch down in southern New England today. Check out this video from 295 in Johnston earlier. You can see that funnel cloud just tearing its way across the highway. The National Weather Service has not yet confirmed this is a tornado, but the images are certainly very telling. There are reported tornadoes in Johnston and Situate, and the National Weather Service has confirmed tornadoes in North Attleboro and Mansfield. Other communities also saw damage from this storm, including North Providence, where trees damaged a few homes there. And we have team coverage of today's storms for you. Our Adriana Roses Rivera is live in Johnston, and Matt Paddock is checking out the damage in situate. But first, let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca. Tony, another round of showers just passed through, but nothing like we saw this morning. No, nothing severe, but we've had a few downpours come through Providence. Uh, we're going to take a look back at this morning with this very impressive line of strong to severe thunderstorms that uh, went through uh, between 7 and 10 o'clock this morning. We'll play it back one more time, and, and there it is. Some of these rotating thunderstorms producing tornadoes. So far, Johnston and Situate, uh, the damage there has not been confirmed yet by the National Weather Service as a tornado, though I was in Situate earlier this afternoon, and you know, just based on some of the, uh, the damage that I was looking at, I myself am leaning towards it was in fact a tornado, but we will wait for the for the National Weather Service survey team uh, to make the final word on that. As Kayla had mentioned, we had a downpour go through Providence a little while ago. It is weakening as it travels north and east. This is not severe, but a heavy downpour and a few rumbles of thunder. And then pretty much that's it as far as precipitation. Two kinds of wind damage when we have severe thunderstorms. The more common one is straight line wind what we sometimes call a, a downburst or a microburst. Quite simply, the wind just hits the ground and it blows in a straight line. That's the most common kind of wind damage. Of course, the other one is the tornado itself. There's, there's no mistake in it. it is a rotating wind. And we do have a couple of confirmations already that they were in fact tornadoes and not microbursts, not straight line winds. We are looking good in Providence after that downpour went through about 20 minutes ago. And for this evening, despite the severe weather that we've had just recently, Friday this evening looks fine with clearing skies and more comfortable temperatures. We'll get a more detailed look at the forecast weekend outlook. A lot to cover all coming up in about 10 minutes. All right, Tony, thank you. As Tony just mentioned, the National Weather Service has not yet confirmed that a tornado touched down in Johnston, but this funnel cloud was caught on camera. Just incredible images. One woman says her mother's car was tossed on the highway by the storm. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera has the very latest on what happened in Johnston. Adriana. Well, Kim Kayla, witnesses tell us this apparent tornado picked a car right up off the highway. This happened behind me here on I-295 in Johnston near the Greenville Avenue exit. Now, we spoke to the daughter of the driver of that car who says her mom is going to be just fine. Yeah, she called and she doesn't remember, you know, talking to him at all. Dalen Giorgio of Gloucester was on her way to work when the unthinkable happened. It tossed her around. All the windows broken out. An apparent tornado barreled through her path on I-295 this morning. Driver Randy Williams catching the moments on camera. I thought I was a goner. Warwick firefighter David Danella was right behind Dalen, joining a few others to help her after the twister set her car down. Picked her car up and it, it spun her around like that. And then it just dropped it back down. And then when you look off to the road, you can see the path that it took. All the trees were knocked down. You can just see where it came across. The tornado left Dalen's car looking like this, but her family says she's going to be fine. Not, not a scratch on her. It was like it just boom right there. Thing looked like it was ripped apart in a couple places. George Vio was also behind Dalen when the tornado struck, making its way to his doorstep. Vio came home to a tree burying his trailer. Who expects a tornado to touch down in Johnston? So I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm grateful she's good and alive, and you know everything's okay. And now, George says no one in his family was injured. Power was knocked out at his home for a little while that had been restored around noon when we showed up to talk to him. Now, in situate, they also sustained some damage. We have Matt Paddock there live on scene. Matt, what can you tell us? Well, Adriana, the severity of that storm damage here in situate, it's apparent. We've got toppled and splintered trees. We've got down power lines, and this roadway behind me has been closed all day after a tree blocked the roadway after it toppled, but crews have since been able to clean that up. But the number one question on everybody's mind here on Byron Randall Road is, was this a tornado? Wicked weather. 
Neighbors living on Byron Randall Road in Situate still in awe. It's bad down there. I never seen anything like it. Toppled trees tearing down power lines. A little bit shook to say the least. Tree trunks splintered, some completely uprooted and torn from the ground. As neighbors saying it all happened in just a matter of moments. Mm, I saw everything get still and uh, in the matter of seconds, I told everybody to get in the basement. But by the time we hit the bottom stair, it was uh, the whole house was shaking. To have a lot of trees and your house destroyed in a matter of 45 seconds, it's kind of scary. A path of trees completely flattened as cleanup efforts are now underway at both a state and local level. Yeah, I'm just moving the trees off to the side of the road so the electric company can get in. Neighbors like Robert Cornell even breaking out their own heavy machinery to help clear the way for local cleanup crews. We caught up with Armin Randolph from the Rhode Island Emergency Management as they toured the damage. And later we have the National Weather Service come into town um, to also confirm if tornadoes actually touched down. And it'll be with a couple personnel from our agency who will be um, escorting them around. Let the experts do what they need to do and say, okay, this is definitely a tornado or not, and we go from there. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka was here earlier in the day doing a site survey of his own. Hear what he had to say starting tonight at 430. Reporting live in Situate, Matt Paddock, 12 News.